Hello, hi, hi, welcome. My name is Erica Lasham. It is 6 3 23 8 16 p.m. My name is Erica Lashawn. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. I can't even get it out. <laughs> I'm practicing just kind of going off the cuff. I like my paper <clears throat> and I like my data. But sometimes I don't have it. And then sometimes I'm like, well, you got to go to work to print it out and get it. And sometimes I want to say it now. I'm like, but you don't have it. I'm like, so. All right. So I want to talk about um, really it started off. I'm going to be clicking all around. So I'm not using paper. So I'm going to try to work this. It's all okay. I don't even. Mm -mm. All right, so at okay, so at first I was talking about like, cause I'm a foodie. <clears throat> I love food. I do. I love to eat it. I, I like to watch people eating it. That's how bad I am. I'm into mukbang and all that stuff. Watching people eat. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, smacking and stuff. All right. So I'm thinking about food. And so, I was thinking, like, if I was on death row, what would I want? No, I didn't get to that yet. I was thinking, like, if you could have anything you wanted, what would you want? You know, so I'm in my mind, like, ooh, I would like this, that. Then I was thinking, like, what if it's your last meal? I'm like, okay. All right, so then I'm getting on last meals. and Like, my mind went to last meal so ah, it's gonna be a short one i just had to get this out and i'm noticing i'm showing up in the algorithm like i'll just go by myself on youtube just for something just for my own personal needs and i'm in the algorithm thank you so uh let's just go with i'm gonna go on capital punishment too I'm going to talk about that. But as far as as far as far food, last meals on death row, like, what would it be? Like, if, if this, you know this, you know it's the end. You know it's the end. What you want? So I'm sitting up here thinking like, oh, what would I want? I can't even tell you. My mouth is watering. I can't even tell you. John Wayne Gracie. All right, so let's go. John Wayne Gracie was put to death in Illinois. Illinois. Is it Illinois or Illinois? Sorry. Sorry, I live in Brooklyn. Is it Illinois or Illinois? Because my family is from Chicago. And I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I'm going to ask one of them. Anyway, by lethal injection at the age of 52, he was sentenced to death for rape at 33 counts of murder. <sighs> for his last meal... Gracie requested 12 shrimp, 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, French fries, and a pound of strawberries. Prior to being convicted, Gacy managed three KCF restaurants. Oh, so you like, so you like what you, oh, oh. Ugh, Timothy McVeigh. Tim Timothy McVeigh, the American terrorist behind the Oklahoma City bombing, was put to death in Indiana by lethal injection at the age of 33. He was sentenced to death for 168 counts of murder. For his last meal, McVeigh requested two pints of mint chocolate ice cream okay that's it all right I, okay ricky ray rector so these are all names that i know i told you i'm, in, I'm into murder and mayhem and serial killers i told y'all okay i follow this stuff i'm like a junkie i can't help it ricky ray rector was put to death in Arkansas by lethal injection at the age of 42. He was sentenced to death for two counts of murder. For his last meal, Rector, mentally incapacitated during his time on death row, his defense team argued, hyphen, <laughs> requested steak, 
fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a pecan pie. He left the pecan pie behind, though telling a guard that he was saving it for later, end quote, quote, unquote. Next, Stephen Anderson, or Stefan, Stephen, Stephen. Stephen Anderson. <clears throat> Stephen Anderson was put to death in California by lethal injection at the age of 49. He was sentenced to death for burglary, assault, even counts of murder, and escaping from prison. For his last meal, Anderson requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a... Where my girl at? Where my girl at? I should have had her. Hominy, H-O-M-I-N-Y, H-O-M-I-N-Y slash corn. Um... <clears throat> Hold on. I should have had her going. Uh, anyway. I just had to trick the machine just to get me. <laughs> so. Hold on. Uh-uh. Okay. So. All right. I just had to. Okay. <sighs> Pecan pie chocolate chip ice cream and radishes so i didn't got my girl real quick i didn't think i needed her but i i i don't like to so real quick sorry for the clicking i got it i have to know what this is <clears throat> um, so how was y'all day? <laughs> Mine was fine. That ain't the... W okay, here we go. What she got to say? Hominy. Hominy. Oh, hominy. Coarsely ground corn used to make grits. Hominy. That's hominy. Okay. So he wanted for his last meal, Stefan Anderson requested two grilled sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy slash corn mixture, peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream and radishes. Ugh. A Angel Nieves Diaz. Angel Nieves Diaz was put to death in Florida by lethal injection at the age of 55. I'm still on. At the age of 55, he was sentenced to death for murder, kidnapping, and armed robbery. Diaz declined the last meal, so he was served the regular prison meal, which he declined as well. Wow. Okay, good. Die. <laughs> Ronnie Lee Gardner. Ronnie Lee Gardner was put to death in Utah by firing squad at 49. What year was this? He was sentenced to death for it, 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 it this is old okay and I'm not I'm not looking it up. He was sentenced to death for burglary burglary robbery and two counts of murder. For his last meal, <clears throat> Gardner requested steak a lobster tail, apple pie, vanilla ice cream, and to eat it all while watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I'm with that. That's straight up surf and turf with apple pie a la mole uh, moving forward. Ted Bundy. <clears throat> Ted Bundy, one of the most notorious... <clears throat> excuse me serial killers in american history was put to death in florida by electric chair at the age of 43 he was sentenced to death for rape necrophilia look it up prison escape and more than 30 counts of murder oh my god Ton bundy declined a special meal so was given the traditional last meal 
steak cooked medium rare eggs over easy hash browns toast with butter and jelly and juice i i had that last week <laughs> alan lee tiny davis alan lee tiny davis was put to death in florida by electric chair at the age of 54 he was sentenced to death of death for robbery and three counts of murder his last meal davis requested lobster tail fried potatoes half a pound of fried shrimp six ounces of fried clams half a loaf of garlic bread and 32 ounces of a and w root beer bone teresa lewis <clears throat> teresa lewis was put to death in virginia by lethal injection at the age of 41 she was sentenced to death for murder conspiracy and robbery for her last meal lewis requested fried chicken peas with butter apple pie and a dr pepper sacco and Vet vanzetti s-a-c-c-o and v-a-n-z-e-t-t-i for Fernando no Nicola Sacco and Bartolio Mino Venetesi Venetesi oh, were put to death in Massachusetts by electric chair at the ages of 39 and 36, respectively. They were sentenced to death on two counts of murder for their last meals. Sacco, Soco, Sacco, S-A-C-C-O, and Vanzetti, V-A-N-Z-E-T-E-I, requested soup, tea, soup, tea, meat, and toast. In 1977, excuse me, the governor of Massachusetts issued a statement saying that they had been unfairly tried and convicted the case has been open ever since so uh they died and no answers ronnie treadgrill t-r-e-a-d-g-i-l-l -L. ronnie treadgrill threadgrill treadgrill was put to death in Texas by lethal injection at the age of 40. He was sen sentenced to death for murder. For his last meal, Tread Grill requested baked chicken, mashed potatoes with country gravy, vegetables, sweet peas, bread, tea, water, and punch. However, Texas abolished last meal choice in 2011 so tread gill was given the same meal as everyone else in his unit dang it moving forward hey henry h-a-r-g-r-e-a-v-e-s har hargreaves hargraves it's old this is a quote-unquote it's old there have been many variations on the saying Another quote, tell me what you eat and I'll tell you who you are, unquote, says the photographer Henry Hargraves, Hargreaves, Hargraves of the, insp of the inspiration of his work with food. Quote, you know, comma, food just tells you so much about a person. So where are we going with this? All right, Hargra Hargraves, Hargreaves, this Henry got his start as a bartender working in an establishment where people ordered food at the bar in addition to drinks. The way that people ordered and interacted with their food and you know and you know modified it and treated it, I felt like you could pretty much stereotype who they were without even really talking to them just from their orders. And to me, that theme I thought could so, could go so deep and was wondering that could be really interesting to represent visually. So that's why I have brought it into my work, unquote. Th now, okay, you going to, that sound like the person that's spitting your food. 
that sound like the person that do other stuff in your food and they get all into the person for no reason like Jeffrey Dahmer like he he ate them because he wanted to be with them forever that's it I, I, I followed the story he, he you know whatever he ate them because he wanted them to be with him forever because he was like so lonely of whatever this person right here, Henry Har Hargreaves, Hargraves, H A R G R E A V A V E A S. That's your bartender right there. That's your bartender right there. He's so worried about you. Just make the drink, like for real. Just make the drink. Now, don't be looking all into me like that. And then this, this, that's that's why. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly paranoid. Slightly, slightly. I got a handle on it. I got a handle on it. It's more. It's more. Her graves frequently works with food as a vehicle for hum humanticizing subcultures that people generally view as extremely different from themselves. This photo, for example, is from a series called, quote, Ready for Dinner, unquote, about the subculture of doomsday preppers in the U.S. I don't know what I'm saying. With regards to his photos of last meals, Hargraves said, quote, look, I'm not trying to preach whether someone should agree or disagree with the death penalty. All I'm trying to do is open up the conversation about it, dot, 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 get people to em empathize with the condemned men and women as real people unquote you making people fool child i don't know what you're doing now here we go a banana I, I'm, I'm off him he didn't it's a banana peel and he he didn't burned his name and all of the photo so this is a hold on they are not is he a chef is he an artist? He looked like an artist, but it's all his own. Was you making, would you go to jail for? That's all, I don't care, I don't care. Not the actual me. Okay, all of the photos in Hargive's quote unquote, no seconds series are recreations of inmates last meals, not the actual meals. And that's part of what intrigued him about the project. So this may be an artist and not an inmate. So I'm looking at different pieces. So maybe he's trying to work through. Whoever wrote this, y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all. Oh, so that's it. That's it, y'all. And I'm not looking, I'm not looking into this. That's it. So I think he may not have been a an inmate. This Henry, Henry H A R G R E A V E S. He may not have been an inmate, but he is one piece I'm looking at. It looked like a bunch of Skittles, and it's his name on there. Did he do that in J? Is he an inmate? Who wrote this? It's a ketchup. He wrote his name in ketchup. They go to ketchup bottle. Was you? They got a banana peel. Was you in jail or what? Anyway. All right, so those are last meals. So let's get into uh, capital punishment. That's a whole other thing. All right, so in the United States, so, okay, so capital punishment, that's a nice way of saying the death penalty. I'm learning as I go. Uh... Hold on, I'm reading. All right, so here's my thoughts on capital punishment. All right. <clears throat> it's twofold for me. So one one on one side, um, if I'm looking at somebody that hurt or killed my loved one. I'm, I'm going to be totally transparent. Um, there's a part of me that wants, if I can't have my loved one, I don't think you should live either. I don't know if that make 
me feel better or not. I don't know. However, when you think of capital punishment and when you think about how much it costs to put people on death row, should I get into that? Now, as far as capital punishment, you would think an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and you know, you hurt mine, I, I want to hurt you and stuff like that. I think that's a natural feeling. However, when you think about what goes on with death row and capital punishment, you may think about, all right, so they long they no no longer do um the electric chair and uh i did a video just like the other day about horror films or whatever and i left this part out i'm gonna sneak it in right now um good grish i said grish never said that um another thing that we used to watch okay faces of death well I forgot to put that in my repertoire of horror films. That's another thing that we did. We watched Faces of Death, and that wasn't even in the movies. It was in the um, the blockbuster. We was going to do videotapes. Faces of Death. If you not, if that's not you, don't do it. If it's not you, don't do it, cause it's it's real. And I saw this as a, a young person. Maybe that's why I'm into this. I don't know. <coughs> Faces of Death. I saw. It was like clips and clips and clips and clips of deaths, real deaths. All right, I didn't see some things. So as far as uh, electrocution, I've seen it. I don't know if that's good or bad. I've seen it. What happens is I, your eyeballs turn into a liquid and they like run down your face. It's it's not pretty. So they um took out that type of so when okay back to capital punishment when you get to capital punishment it, it moved the laws moved it to a way where it had it, it had to be uh humane so no longer shock electric chair um the execution squad that's why i was reading earlier with the, the thing i'm like what year was that because nobody's really doing that now it's really humane Kind of, kind of if, if you would take your animal to uh, the humane society to put it down. And they do it really humane and peaceful. So that's what they're doing in jail. So it's really like humane and peaceful. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, like if you took someone from me, if you hurt somebody from me, I don't want you to go humane. I don't see the point in that. It's 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 and I've I've seen that. I didn't seen a lot. I didn't looked at a lot of documentaries. I like this stuff and I'm okay. However, when you get to um nowadays, how they euthanize nowadays is very humane. Okay. Was it humane when you did what you did? Was it humane? When you caused the horror and the, the the horror, was that humane? So for us to give them, you know, make them feel better, I'm like, okay, it's like taking a nap. It's almost like going to the dentist, not the dentist, the doc, getting the operation. If you've ever been under before, it's like that. I've seen it. I saw a documentary where they was talking to just the executioners. Like, what type of job do you have? How does this, how does it affect you? And how do you live your life knowing that you the one that pressed the button? You pressed the button. How do you feel about that? So it was a whole thing about that. But anyway, they, they have up until like the last minute. They really do. And one thing I was watching, they be waiting for that last minute. They do. They wait for that last if, if that if that phone if that if that phone don't ring, you done. But back to being humane about it, it's like you could you could be like the worst in the world. And the charges are execution but you go like a nap like peaceful and you get a nice meal you get to eat what you want you like what you want you want lobster you want steak you want ice cream you want all that and then you did all that but you get to eat good and go and take a nice dirt nap 
So I really don't. I'm 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 really not into it. Even if somebody did something to somebody I love, I wouldn't. You know, I ain't, I'm not going on record. However, <laughs> I want you to I want you to suffer. I want you to be cold in the winter because you know that heat ain't good. I want you to be cold. I want you to eat that nasty food. I want you to get ate up by bed bugs and roaches. I want the mice to run over you as you sleep. I want somebody to terrorize you and like uh, have you running for your life and rape you. Sorry, not sorry. That's punishment to me. So having a nice lobster meal and your um, chips and your pop, whatever you be liking, and you have a nice little meal and then you get to go to sleep. That don't do it for me. It don't. I want you to suffer. I want you to stay in there and suffer. Now, the drawback to that is it costs so much money for people on death row. <clears throat> I watched the thing on death row. How much it costs? You know how much it costs to keep somebody sitting on death row? And they be sitting there for years and years. They sit they sit for years and years on death row. And taxpayers are paying for them to sit there. So I watched this one thing. This guy was talking about how, excuse me, what it's like to be on death row. And he was talking about, it's torture. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take you sitting sitting uh, on death row and going crazy can't sleep at night people be hollering manic they be hollering screaming they can't get no sleep and plus they on death row so they be thinking like oh my god when my, when my number coming up I can't even sleep blah 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 that's good for me I like that so um trying to get into it eh I don't know. What is the death rate in the U.S.? The question is, what will be the mortality rate in 2025? This is jumping a gun, but it says, what is the death rate in the U.S.? By the numbers, about 3.3 million Americans died in 2022, down from 3.5 five deaths in 2021 okay it went, it went down the age adjusted death rate was 832.8 deaths per 100 comma 100 all these people is down it's down 5.3 percent from 80 from 879.7 percent in 2021 look i didn't even ask that i just want to know how much it costs because I want to, you know, taxpayers pay this. Um, anyway, so back to your the, the um, punishment. I'm all for you sitting there, rotten. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, I'm, I'm going too far. Yeah, I want you to rot. <clears throat> I want you to rot. So the death penalty really doesn't do anything for me because uh, you're not going the way... You made somebody else go. Um, yeah. All right. So moving forward. I think that's about it. I'm trying to dig something up. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm over it. All right. So um, death rate. Oh, last meal. Oh, my. Okay, so my last meal would be. Oh, my. That's a tricky question because I'm probably in a state of mind that is not even normal. So to ask me what I would like for my last meal, I'm 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 probably already in a state of um, you know, no coming back from. So I don't, I don't even know if I would be able to say, oh yeah, I want this, I want that. I, I maybe I would be like not eating at all. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a wrap, it's over. Like forget it. Okay, but if so, oh, I'll be the type to be like, 
Can my mommy cook me my meal? Can y'all bring it up? Can, you, can my mama bring her her food? I would probably ask for my mother's food. They gonna say no. All right, so that's my first choice. I will say, well, can she? Can my mother bring me some food? They gonna say no. I'm like, okay. Mm. That's a toughie. Especially for somebody like me. Oh my gosh, it's tough. I'm the type, I hate going places where it's a whole lot of stuff on the menu because I want everything. And it's just, it's just not good for me. I, I can't, I'm, I'm so indecisive when it comes to food. <clears throat> I want everything. Where's my thing? Sometimes if I know I'm going someplace, I will go to the website and look at their menu and try to do a pre- I be trying to do a pre, like, now you know you like this. Now you know you like that. What's in this? Now you know you like that. I'm like, ooh, but this one got this. I'm just the worst. I'm no, I'm so bad. Look, Sinbad, he's one of my favorite comedians. He's from Michigan. And uh, he's extremely funny, and he has never said a curse word ever. He a preacher's kid. Um, Side note, if y'all get a chance, go to Netflix and look at Preacher's Kid from Sinbad it's it's so wholesome and hilarious and his kids in the audience and it was he's talented no curse word so Sinbad did a bit about going to McDonald's and he was like he can't stand people in McDonald's be like let me see ya. Uh, let me see ya. he said the menu been like this for like 50 years pick something that's me and my first job was at McDonald's. So I need to be ashamed of myself. I will go in there tomorrow and be like, let me see. Uh, 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 I don't know what that is. I want everything. And I still go in McDonald's and be like, mm, the girl be looking at me like, girl. And sometimes I'd be like, give me a minute. I'll step aside and let somebody else go because I don't know what the hell I want. That's how bad I am. Back to this last meal stuff. Sorry. I don't know. Don't give me nothing. I'm already pissed. I'm already pissed. I'm on death row. What you mean what I want to eat? Just, just kill me. Sorry. All right, but if I had to, I'd probably get some pizza. Yep. If I had, if I had to choose. Give me some pizza. I would say some lobster and stuff like that. Lobster is good, but it ain't as good as pizza. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> lobster is really good. Pizza is more satisfying. I, I'm going with pizza. Anything else? I was about to say something real crazy, but I'm not. Uh, it's not crazy. Stop. I was about to say something I didn't want to say. Okay. All right. I think I'm done. Because I'm going to hold y'all for no reason. <laughs> Sorry. One time, somebody called me Chatty Kathy one time, y'all. I was like, oh, okay. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.